Hello world, this is Cuz the Internet Podcast. I'm your host, Trey. And I'm Zach. Let's get it started. So, Justin, your boy, la boy, allegedly <laughs> got jumped by the Migos. Yeah. How do you yeah. feel about that? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's not? Because nobody's talking about it. Nobody's saying nothing. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm, I don't, I'm, all right, right now we're dealing with speculation. We don't know what's true, what's not. So, hypothetically, I think that it can happen, um, but realistically, I think the question lies in, do I think that it's justified or not? I think that's where the question is. Like, Do you think it's justified? Okay, no, it's not justified. To a mature mind, it definitely isn't justified, because I don't believe it's justified. But a younger me, I could see taking issue with somebody in the way I perceive it playing games. Yeah. You know, you know that's her ex man. You know what you guys are trying to do. So I can see why a younger person would be ignorant and do a thing like that. So I don't think it's justified at all. So I don't condone violence, especially needless, ignorant violence. Don't get, don't agree with it. But do I see why they did it? Yes just because they're probably not mature enough yeah. to understand. And those are the situations <laughs> that immature people, that's how they will yeah. handle their anger. So I, I yeah, yeah. So how about you? I mean, I don't think it's justified, mm. but I get what you're saying about a younger mind. They would do something like that. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about you younger. You definitely would have done something like that. <laughs> 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 but it, it's true though like again a lot of times people think with fights you're fighting over the person yeah. like like they're fighting over sweetie when that is not mm. the case they're th fighting over principle and, yeah. and and again it doesn't make sense you know what i mean mm. it does not make sense but i could understand that you still think someone's playing with you messing with your pride Pride yeah. is a horrible thing. We all agree. But when you feel as though someone's like, yo, you know that's my girl, and you still mm -hmm. try to put, you know what I mean, play these games. But to mm -hmm. be fair, when he was asking the question, he said, yeah. hey, your man does everything for you. Yeah. And he says this is what he wants. It still wasn't him disrespecting him. He was saying, yo, it, it, I looked at it more like if you were going to take it as anything, take it as an alley -oop. He was trying to set you up like, hey, yo, you're doing everything good? break them off with them and that's like i mean that's a more mature mind thinking like that yeah i mean not too mature because like i said the last time who says this is the end all be all this is what everybody wants like this is not what every male wants so, exactly I mean, it is what exactly. it is but at the same time i don't see him really disrespecting their relationship her response was he still took it as disrespect because yeah. he was like oh why would you say that but, and that's borderline even so that's not even so exactly. i agree i agree with you but so, I mean that's all. But I think it's the setup, you know what I mean, of everything. Hmm. I think it's with her ex-man being there. I think it's with, you know, it's it. Everything just seemed like there was an underlying factor hmm. to it. That question, their reaction, the thing about um, cancers make great wives or something like that, and you, you know that that whole dynamic. Yeah. I could see why he's like, yo, you and Justin are best friends, man. You guys, you guys really, really want to play games. Again, I am not yeah. saying that it makes sense even. I'm just hmm. saying I could see that childish ignorance happening. And it's rare that you could speak reason to a child. Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of Ain't weird. Ain't that the truth. But yeah, I definitely could have, I could see it happening. Um, yeah, I could see it happening. If you're, hmm. especially if he's still in his feelings, you know, if he's yeah. still like, if he really wants to get at Justin Combs, but he just can't right now. So he's just like the next best thing. I could definitely see it. So, um, man. Mm -hmm. that bothers me too. It's like, okay, I can't get you and get your man, or I can't get you and get your, your, your house. Like, yeah. no, nah, man, like if you're going to deal with somebody, deal with the person, like don't deal with something like, I don't yeah. know. Oh, this week on the internet, 
Lil Nas X, he's been uh, creating quite the kerfuffle. Stir. Yes, stir. I like kerfuffle. He's been making quite the kerfuffle. Um, <laughs> how, how do you feel about it, man? What, what do you think? Well, first and foremost, shout out to our cousin Isaiah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the only thing that made me feel away mm-hmm. is the whole like satanic symbolism. Yeah. Because I mean, I am a God fearing man. Yeah. And I don't play with that stuff. Like, I mean, if you, that's what you do, so be it. Yeah. It's fine. You may not even care, and you're just doing it just for the shock value. And that's yeah. fine as well. I personally don't mess with it. So I didn't watch the video. I mean, also, I, I mean, the songs are not for me anyway. Exactly. So I mean, I'm not going to waste my time listening to the song, watching the video just to pick it apart. Hey, yeah. if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. And that was my only problem with it. What he did, I think, was brilliant. Like, Mm. you remember the movie Easy A? Yeah. And, I mean, it's more than a movie. It's from the play. I can't even remember where the play came from. But the A for adulterer. uh, Adultery. Adultery, yes. So she wore the A because she was like, you know what? If you're going to call me what it is, I'm going to act it out. And so be it. People are saying, oh, you're going to go to hell because you're... A homosexual and this and that. So he was like, okay, if that's what you're going to say, then I'm going to show you what I'll do. When I go to hell, I'll give the devil a lap dance. And this is, and so I was like, you know what? He played into it well. He did what he was like, if this is what you guys already think of me, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do while I'm there. Okay. So I gave him credit for that. Like, I'm like, you know what? Do you own it? Yeah. I mean, once again, God, if you're listening, I'm not condoning it. So I'm just joking. But I don't know. It, it seems like, it it like he was cheerleader right now. I'm just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. God might have heard that. So just keep it going. Me and Takashi. Um, you know, <laughs> Takashi is and I'm just here. Like, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, really, I was like, yeah. what he's doing, I mean, I give him props for it. Do you. Mm. Do you, Mountain Dew. Mm. Um. Now, with the shoes, I mean, they weren't an official Nike release. Exactly. It's just, it was a collaboration with Mischief. Exactly. And they were actually being sued by Nike for exactly. doing that. Which I don't blame Nike, but go ahead. Exactly. Make your money. I mean, <laughs> the truth is, I don't think they're going to make much. I mean, you know what? No, it's not about For that. what Nike is worth, exactly. For what Nike yeah. is worth, they're not making much money off of suing them. It's just yeah. for principle. So people will think twice about trying to use their images and their stuff. Yeah to profit off of because I heard that they're selling the shoes for like 1500 Yeah. And they shoes sold out in minutes. Like exactly. there were 666 pairs. Yeah. Sold out in minutes. And I was like, okay. So, I mean, that was my only thing. And then people are saying, oh, well, he, it's like um, the Pied Piper. He came with Old Town Road and there's kids anthem and everybody's happy and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden he comes with this and he's just trying to trick our kids and this and that. I'm like, no, like people have all types of music. Kanye West said Jesus walks, and then all of a sudden, uh, what's the song with uh, Lil Pump? You know, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's such a you know, I love it. So I was like, people are versatile; they do different things. Mm-hmm. And Lil not like um, it was Joyner Lucas who was like, he didn't like that because it felt like it came out of left field what he was doing and yada yada yada. And he didn't put a disclaimer on it, mind you. That's what his, mm. his one of his main issues were. <laughs> he's yeah, like, bro. He's talking about Old Town Road. He's like, I'm talking about sipping lean and whatever. Yeah, but so it he's ain't like, the same. It ain't the same. But I hear you. I hear you. But it's one of those things. Like, just because the imaging, you're now you're thinking of what it's about. And, like, people wow. have songs. But even with Old Town Road, sorry to cut you off, but even with Old Town Road, he didn't blatantly say anything. Um, no, but and that's the whole thing with this um his song he didn't blatantly say anything his video though mm. you get what i mean so that's why i can't really say because even in old town road video he was legit riding a horse and doing whatever else it wasn't it's not okay but i'll, I'll get to my point after but i let me, no, let me get to your point you know. i mean i'm done <laughs> so um i i th- i'm i'm kind of with you other than I don't see it as great marketing. I, I think it's like the cheapest form of marketing. Like, it was like slapstick. Oh Pardon me? Yeah, I, I was yeah. going to say, like, I mean, all publicity is good. Publicity no, well, yeah. But lives, so, I mean. that, that's the general concept. So, yes, 
he got what he wanted, but it's not mm -hmm. as though to me it was out the box. It was legit everything somebody wouldn't do. He was like, I'm going to do it. Like, it's not that it, <laughs> you thought of having spaceships and some rant. No, he legit, yeah. nobody would cross those lines because they'd find it too much, too tacky generally. Yeah. And he did it. So great marketing. But no, you, I didn't think it was thinking out the box, I personally. Yeah. Um, now, I, I, I don't knock people for their beliefs. And I don't knock people for not believing. It's free will, freedom of choice. But if he doesn't believe, I find that's insulting to anybody that does. Yeah. Um, and that's the whole point. Uh, you could, again, you could believe in what you, if he does believe in that, mm. believe there's nothing I could say to him at this point. <laughs> like he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's fulfilling his cause, doing his thing. But if he doesn't, that's when I have a problem because I would not make fun of anybody's religion. Yeah. And that's what that is to me. It's a, a mm. slap in the face of anybody that believes in God yeah. or whatever. So that that's my biggest problem with it, just because if that's not his true beliefs, he is as bad as the six, nine or somebody that is legit going against their moral compass just for views and likes, which mm. I can't stand people that do that. Um, secondly, the drop of human blood and all that extra is, it, it just, it, it's, it's just too much. It's, it's stupid. It's again, it's stupid unless he believes in it. <laughs> like that's the thing. It's stupid unless he believes it just because like I, I'm running around in a circle. My only argument is just that it's too much. Um, and it's a knock in the face of anybody that does have that belief. Secondly, yeah. um, with the Jordan Luke kiss and Old Time Road, I don't knock people that have a problem with it that let their... You're allowed to critique things. And I'm allowed to tell you that my child was a fan of yours. And then you did not put a disclaimer on this video. And my child saw you came out with a new song and put it on. And I'm upset about that. I think everybody should... Nobody's above reproach. Anybody could be criticized. So people criticizing uh, Nick Young or Jonah Lucas for having an issue and saying, hey, you let your kids listen to Old Town Road and it's about this, about that. If he didn't say that, or if people didn't break down the lyrics to me, what he meant by this yeah. was that, I had no clue. But you show me that video of him in hell, yeah. riding and doing all these, and having these satanic symbols I know what that is. So you can't compare those two. Hmm. Um, so no, I, I, I think he, it was a, it's a cop out for people and him saying that it's just a, you know, marketing and like, of course we all know it's marketing. I just find it's the cheapest form. I hmm. find, yeah, it, it's like, um, back in the day when they used to have uh, used car dealerships and they to ride a horse across the city just to get the news cameras there. It's just like, cool, nice, good job. But you're not really, there was no, you did not use any of your brain cells. For this, it was legit that. It was the simplest way for him to get attention, but I just thought it was disrespectful. It, if that's not his beliefs, I think it's disrespectful yeah. to any religion that does believe in that. Um, so yeah, that, that was my problem with it. That's how I feel about it. All right, so I saw this post. And it goes, is your husband or wife supposed to be your best friend? What are your thoughts? Okay. So I think it's a two part question, but it's all in one. So I think, yes, your partner is supposed to be your best friend, but I think it's with a, a, a somewhat limit. Like you don't necessarily have to, the same conversations I'm having with, you or my guy friends, I'm not necessarily going to have it with my wife. So in that way, you, you're going to say then clearly she's not. But no, I think there's different types of relationships. But your partner is supposed to know pretty much everything important about you. Um, so I think, therefore, they're, they're the closest person to you. The things that I wouldn't share with anybody else, I would share with my wife. So to me, that makes her my best friend, knowing that that's that bond that 
regardless, there's no real secrets. And if there is a secret and she needed to know, I would tell her. If one of my close boys need to know a secret, I'd be like, no, screw yourself, bro. Like, figure, it, figure it out. So therefore, I, I think, yes, they should be, but not in the, you know, school way of saying, hey, that's my best friend. So we're yeah. going to the mall every day. Or we're, No, it's just because of that um, bond and that way you're supposed to have each other's back. I think, yes, your partner should be. How do you feel about it? Um, I don't necessarily think they have to be your best friend. Okay. But I believe it is a bonus if they are your best friend. Okay. So you can be in a relationship with somebody, you can marry somebody, and you can have a great relationship with them, but it doesn't necessarily have to be your best friend. Because like you said, your guy best friends or your family, whatever you talk to and you tell them things, you won't go back and tell your wife or your girl everything. Yeah. Or I mean, in a lot of circumstances, you won't go back and tell her everything because I mean, there's not everything you need to be told. Exactly. Like, if you're talking to one of your boys and they're telling you about, I don't know, something crazy. Yeah. One of your single friends. Yeah. And they were like, yo, uh, I went here and yo, like I saw Sweetie and Justin LeBoy and he was asking her a question and she said, yo, get any, and then Justin Cole saw me and he was like, yo, so, and then we both just, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just going far. I don't know, but hey, sounds like but a like, party. <laughs> but that's it. Like, it's just something crazy out, yeah. out in, outlandish. Like, it's not something that you would necessarily tell your girl, like, yo, Y'all, I was speaking to um, Mr. X, and he was telling me how, yo, him and yo, Choo Choo, like, they were doing all types of stuff. And, like, you wouldn't go back and say that to your girl, mm. necessarily. Okay, because okay. you're like, I mean, whatever. But I mean, if she's your best friend at that point, like I said, it's an added bonus where you can go to her and be like, yo, guess mm. what? She's like, what? Big, you remember uh, Mr. X? She's like, what did he do now? He did this. Oh, yo, but yeah. It's like. Yeah, I get you. The fact that you can go to her and speak about this. Yeah. It's like I said, it's not a bonus. I'm happy that I could and I would. Yeah. yeah. Talk so, to my girl about these things. So, okay. So then that goes to my point, though. You're saying you don't think you have to, right? No, like, I'm saying you don't have to, but it's an added bonus if you can, if she is your best friend or if he is. Yeah, but like, then isn't it kind of hard to say that that's not the case if that's what you have? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if that's and, OK, go ahead. And I say this because, OK, and now no shade to like the elders or anything. But mm. now thinking of like our parents and stuff like that, like, I mean, it's like, okay, they, like, you know, I can't even say that. was their best I mean, friends, though. And that's exactly why I stopped speaking. Because I was like, yeah, <laughs> okay, but. That's what I'm saying. Like, because it's not in the, again, school days. Like, your best friend mm. is just the one that, above all else, you got. And above all else, you'll break any kind of, for the most part. I, w I won't say you won't, you'll break any codes, but. Like you just mm. said, yo, what's the name, da da da? You'll say it because at the end of the day, you know that she has your best interest, you have her best interest, so it's all love, all good. Certain things you might not say to your boys just because eh, you're not sure. And I'm not saying mm. that anybody, it's just that that's the only relationship where there shouldn't be any real lines. You know, mm. like it's just like naturally, of course, nobody's a blank canvas, but you try your best to be that's the only mm -hmm. relationship that you really try to be um with your friends and stuff you you see them for an hour or two and you show them or say whatever you feel like showing them or say in a relationship in a you know a real relationship as far as marriage long term you want the person to be 100 percent transparent with you you want to be 100 percent mm -hmm. transparent with them and you want to be able to know regardless of any decision they make they have your best interest and vice versa with any of your friends, you're never a hundred percent guaranteed with that. Hmm. So I, I personally think that's one of the deciding factors to make your relationship, you know, um, 
your best friend. So suppose in your relationship, mm -hmm. you say your wife is your best friend, but she says you're not her best friend. How do you feel about that? I I would honestly, I'm not even lying. If that did happen, I would ask her what's her definition of best friend, because she might be thinking. Like I said, the yeah. school way of, well, I'm not going to ask you to go shoe shopping with me. Like, I asked my girl girlfriend for that. Like, no, mm -hmm. I'm talking about at the end of the day when you're stranded, I'm just saying, hypothetically, you're stranded yeah. in <clears throat> New Mexico. Are you calling your homegirls or are you going to call me? Like, that's where I'm defining. But see, you guys that here. doesn't necessarily mean she's your best friend. Oh, you're, you're, call, you're, call, friend. you're calling me a simp. You call me a simp. No, no, no. <laughs> like, it, don't, it don't mean that you're a best friend. It means that you're a sucker. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that means you're her husband. I got you. Say, hey, I'm stuck in New Mexico. I need you to come get me. Yeah. Okay, dear. I'm on my no, way, dear. I, I, I was just giving an example. But my whole yeah, point no, no, is, yeah. is that you... Look, like right. if you have good... If you have news, like who's the first person you think of? Like is it exactly. your significant other or is it... Exactly. Okay. It's like it breaks down. Like I, I think best friend is deeper than words or mm. deeper than a name. So yeah. I say best friend because I know that's who means the most to me. It's that simple. Mm. Like you mean the most to me, you're my best friend. I'm going to, above all else, I'm going to, we're going to figure things out together. So that's how I see it, but it, it, it can, it could vary. So her answer could be different from mine. Uh, like you just said, but I think that the root of it, would be the same it's just that it might just be you know that different thing my best friend is my friend and you are this but i think at the end of the day i'd still be the most important person to her mm. so i don't know maybe yeah. uh it maybe it's just the uh, semantics maybe it's just different wording or different names but i think yeah, that, that, I that probably would be the same thing um would you rather one billion dollars or happiness? Good question. Good question. Um, and I, I just, I know I'm always asking deeper questions. So with this happiness, is it like just, just I'm just happy. happy. I'm just happy. And that's it. Yeah. Mm. And with this billion dollars, it, I could be happy some days, not happy. It's just whatever. It's a regular life. It just, I got a billion dollars. I don't no. It's not a regular life because I mean, in a regular life, you're regularly happy because I mean, you have your loved ones around you. And <laughs> That's why I'm saying. It. But okay, it's it's not a regular life. Like okay. you're miserable with a billion dollars, or you're happy without. Ah, <laughs> uh, this guy. I have to. That's a hard question because that first one I was gonna be like, yo, a billion, a billion dollars, bro. I'll figure it out. Um, now, I'm happy. But is it a trick question? Is everybody around me happy too? Or is it just I'm happy? No, no, no. No one else is affected. So everybody else is normal. It's just you. You're happy with no billion dollars or you're miserable with a billion dollars. But everybody else is everybody else. Is normal, same, however they are. <laughs> <sighs> That's a, it's still a hard question. Um, I, I would probably, I'd probably take the billion. I'd probably take the billion just because I would want to change people's lives. Um, I, I'd want to be able to help people. Even if I was going to be miserable, I'd like to still be able to. I have a billion dollars, man. You know how much I could put into the community. You know how much I could, you know, start businesses for people, help out family members. I, I think I would, I would make that sacrifice because that's what it would really be, a sacrifice. I think I, I could, I would do that um, to guarantee um future success for my family um how about you i would definitely choose the happiness okay and i only say that because now if you chose the billion dollar like and this is not even me trying to be funny mm -hmm. but the first thing i thought of was scrooge mcduck mm -hmm. where he has all these this money but he's just never happy he's just always miserable and now he can help people mm -hmm. but he chooses not to because he wants to keep everything for himself so I was like, if you got the billion dollars and you're miserable, I feel like 
in all the misery that you're it's going on in your head you're not mm-hmm. going to be thinking you know i can make all these other people happy you would have the mindset of trying to be or, or being miserable and thinking of the worst things like oh if i do this for them then they're not going to do it so no i'm not going to give them anything i think it's just going to be a miserable okay. or a misery slope where it's just everything is downhill like ugh, i'm not going to help anybody because this is my billion why am i i felt like that's how it would have played yeah, out so that's, but that's not out. how it went in my head so you're not ruining my whole vibe because my vibe made sense. And now and I was like, well, I don't want to be that guy. No, gonna... I don't want to be Scrooge McDuck. Uh-huh. I want to be Donald Duck. Exactly. Um, yeah. But no, that's how I thought of it. And I was like, you know yeah. what? The truth is, when you have days where you're just not happy and you're just miserable and you yeah. don't know why you can't explain it, I was like, I've had those days. And I was like, I don't like them. I don't want them. So. I For agree. me to have a billion dollars and to feel like that all day, every day, nah, it's not worth it. I'd rather be happy. I can work my nine to five and be happy. I can okay. do my side hustle and be happy. Now, it's not to say I'll never make, I mean, you know what? Maybe I never make a billion dollars. Well, that's a part of I make the stipulations. I'm adding it. You can never, <laughs> you have to work for the rest of your life, but you'll be happy. Then I'll work for the rest of my life and okay. be happy. All right. One of those things where at that point, hey, I'm happy. I'm going to spread my happiness, spread some gems and be like, yo, read this book, read this book, rich dad, poor dad. Mm. Trust me. It'll change your life. And, and they'll be like, look at be- this guy, man. How did it change your life? You just walk around with his mom. We still broke. But I'm happy. I, I want to be like Uncle Trey. He's mad, but he's living in a bad <laughs> Everybody's on vacation. He's like, the only person you won't share is with us because you keep smiling at him. <laughs> Look at that one. He's like, why does he keep smiling at me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so they, I... <laughs> get, get, get you and your happy kids out of here. <laughs> No. Okay, bye, Coltrane. Love you. Love you. <laughs> but no, no. Um, and listen, I, that's the hardest part is to decide what would mean more. And the reason I'm saying that is not for me, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, I think if I was able to have that billion, I might be, because I figured it more as a, um, a chemical imbalance type of angry, um, mm-hmm. where it's just something inside me, but it's not necessarily affecting how I would. It would, it's not necessarily yeah. affecting how I would treat people. So if I was, if that was the case, then I would be like, I'd probably be extremely depressed and sad, which is no laughing matter. But at least I think that I'd be able to, you know, spread the joy for everybody else, even if I'm not yeah. really feeling it. So that's why I would still take that L, just that. But a lot of people, all they want is a peace of mind. A lot of rich people, all they want is a peace of mind. So And that's it. I, that's what I fully get it. I, I, it's not that I think that it's wrong. It's just that I think that if it was literally just that cut and dry, like you could have a billion, but you could change lives and let make everybody else be happy and live a perfect, well, not perfect, but a great life. Or you could be happy, but only specifically you be happy for the rest of your life. I'd be, I'd still, I'd feel kind of um, selfish taking that happiness and I'm the only one just walking around smile on my face and people going through stresses and dramas, but I'm like, ah, we good. We'll figure it out. <laughs> like, no, nah, I, I prefer to be able to make changes in people's lives. That's how I'd see it. But it's a good question. It is definitely a good question. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, I'd rather be happy. I mean, shoot, we've already struggled this far. Mm-hmm. If I don't have a billion dollars, I mean, hey, we're still going to be happy. We're still going to make things happen. Yeah. It'll be fine. No, no. I mean, yeah. Definitely got a point. Got a point. It's just, this is, that's generational yeah. wealth right there. That, mm. You know? But hey, I think it's good. I just, that's why if like my whole family and friends could share that happiness, then I would take that yeah. for sure. But if I'm the only one walking around happy, I, I don't think it would be but see, it for me. The thing is, the happiness is all in your mind state. Because mm-hmm. I mean, the truth is, like I said, no one else is affected around you. No one else is happier, sadder, anything. They're exactly who they are. It's yeah. just you're happy because you're just being optimistic about everything. You're okay. like, you're like the Gary V of life. 
Mm. You just look for the positivity and everything. You're just positive. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, this happened like the other day I was talking to my best friend. Mm. Not my best friend's mother, but my best friend. Okay. And he was like, um, you know, uh, what did he say? He was just talking about looking like he dropped something. And he's like, I could be mad about dropping it, but he's like, but there's no point in being mad about dropping it. I just look for the positivity in it. So I can be like, I'm happy. Say, I could be mad that I dropped it on the floor, but I'm happy that it didn't break. So I'd rather look at it as I'm happy it didn't break rather than it dropped on the floor. And I was like, huh. I was like, very insightful for a 10 year old. I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So I was like, it's the way you look at things. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know what? Positivity is positivity, man. As long as you look at the positive, yeah. it'll be good. I feel you. I feel you. I just wouldn't want to be the only one. Again, I feel like I'm I'm the only one. If I'm the only one on cloud nine consistently, I'd still, I'd feel like, yeah, I'd either want everyone to get it or no one to get it. Like I said, I'd rather sacrifice that and make sure at least I could help people rather than but I mean, you can. You can tell people to be positive. Uh, like, I see so many pranks gone wrong, bro. Not pranks gone wrong. Pranks, and they never go wrong. And I'm like, that's not real. That can't be real, because... Yo. Yeah. I saw one the other day where <clears throat> this girl says this, like, bodybuilder dude smacked her butt. Mm. So the dude came back, and he was like, yo, did you smack her butt? And he was like, yo, get out of here. And he's like, no, I just need to know, like, whatever. He's like, yo. He's like, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Just punking him. And then his other bodybuilder dude comes. And they're like, yo, what's up? And he's like, oh, this little punk's talking about whatever. And he's like, yo, yeah. I just want to know if you smacked her butt, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then finally she takes out her phone. She's uh, recording. And he's like, what are you recording for? What are you recording for? And he's like, yo, did you smack her butt or not? And he's like, yeah, I did. A matter of fact, what are you going to do about it? And he's like, yo, that's disrespectful, disrespectful. They like, grab him and they take him and they put him in in the trunk of a car, and she's like, no, no, no. Then they're like, hi, we pranked you. I was like, okay. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm mad that I wasted my time watching it. Somebody sent yeah. it to me, and I watched it, and I was like, okay. I was like, we all know this is fake. Yeah. Now, I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. If my girl came to me and said, hey, this guy smacked my butt, I'm not going to ask you, hey, did you smack her butt? Nah, she told me you did it, so you did it. Mm -hmm. Apologize. I don't care how big you are. I'm like, nah, we're going to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And then your big friend's going to come too? Okay. So are you going to apologize or not? Nah? Mm -hmm. nah? Okay. I'm going to, yo, uh, Craig and Debo, I'm going to find a brick. <laughs> That's what I, I was going to say. I was about no. to say, bro. Because um, I, I, saw, I saw the same thing, and those guys were just, I thought you were just going to say you was going to square up with him. I was going to say, you better. I'm not saying anybody should have a weapon, but yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you got you to have something, bro. Those dudes is a steroided up, bro. It was uh, no I joke. I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, truth is, like, I was like, and the thing is, like, I was like, hey, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, I'm the strongest dude in the world. No, nah, mm. not at all. But I'm not going to run from you either. Like, hey, we can talk it out, gentlemen. If you apologize, you know what? Cool. That means you don't but want if to you... fight. No, I, I, I don't want to fight. What <laughs> do I want to fight for? If you're just like, just, just say sorry. And we'll just, I'll just leave. I don't care. Just say sorry. No, but for real. Like, I was mm -hmm. like, I'd be like, yo, she told me whatever. Apologize. She, like, she wasn't feeling it. She didn't appreciate it. Apologize. And it's like, oh, yo, you're this and that. Okay. Remember that. Stay right here. <laughs> just walking away. No, yeah. I'd be like, even if I left and came back and you're not there, yeah. I will see you another day. Yeah, exactly. And why are you this driving time, around with that brick sure. in your car? That's not just, just the case. <laughs> I need to Yo, build the house. Like, trust me. Hmm. No, no. I, yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, man. I just, I don't like people that, it doesn't happen that way all the time, but disrespectful people disrespectful people in general it bothers mm. me it's like why 
do people do the most? Um, yeah. Like, if you see somebody walking with their girl, like, why would you try to holler at her? Or why would you... I never understood people like that. It's like, every man and woman deserves respect. So it's like, I, I just don't like disrespect. I don't like seeing disrespect. You know, it's just one of those uh, pet peeves of mine. It's like, hmm. No, sorry for cutting you. No, no. But there was one time I was walking downtown in Toronto. Mm-hmm. I went to go get shawarma. There was this place downtown Toronto that had the wickedest shawarma. Kill. Okay. And I can't even say the shawarma was the wickedest. You know, it was a mix of everything. It was the hot sauce they had on it. It was the, the garlic sauce they had on it. Like, delicious. It sounds, like you, it sounds like you're thinking about it. Yeah, you're thinking yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, you're talking about, about it. A couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bang sweet. Okay, okay, but okay. I was, went downtown for it specifically, and I was walking through, and I was like, yo, why is everything cut off? I was like, what's happening here? Didn't realize it was Pride Weekend. <clears throat> so I'm walking through trying to get there. And there was a couple walking in front of me. Mm-hmm. So they're walking in front of me. I'm behind them, obviously. And then there were gentlemen walking towards us. So we're walking opposite direction. Yeah. One of the three gentlemen walking towards us started catcalling the dude in front of his girl. And I was like, Wait, wait, what? Mad. Wait, wait, wait. So the guy is walking with his girl. Yes. Okay, and then a the dude, another dude starts catcalling the guy. Yes. Oh, okay. I was okay. like, that's wild disrespectful. Like, I was like, I didn't think I'd ever see this, but I was like, that's mad disrespectful. I was like, you know what? Just keep my head down. Keep walking. It'll be okay. And I mean, at this time, it was before, like, the whole Black Lives Matter stuff and everything. So this is when people were still afraid of Black people. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I was fine, but... I guess you weren't if they wasn't calling. <laughs> yeah, I was fine. They they were like, nah, we ain't gonna mess with him. Nah, you wasn't fine because that's why they didn't call you, man. Ah, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Actually, you know what? I'm stupid. I didn't get it. <laughs> I guess I was fine. Uh, nah. <laughs> I didn't get a haircut that day. That's why I, I didn't know what was happening. I I, I would have dressed up. If I that ain't it, Chief. You try doing your best walk. <laughs> Suck my gut. Yeah, that dude got some junk in his truck. <laughs> you need to use the bathroom, sir. <laughs> I can't call it. All, can't call it all the other guys. It's just like, hey, everything okay? You need an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, no. Wild disrespectful. Definitely. That, that's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. No, no, I'm saying you're wild disrespectful. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brought back a traumatic time for you, man. My bad, my bad. Yo, my twin, like for a long time, a long time, random people would tell me, you know who you look like? You know who you look like? And I know where they why they said it, but you know who you look like? Michael Strahan. Right? My man covered up his tooth. Just, oh, you did? Yeah, covered it up. Now I'm the only one out here. Does yeah. Anthony Anderson still? Facts. Facts. I just need to grow my hair a little, get a little bit of a fro thing going, and I'll kill it. Oh, yeah, a little bit of beard. Good. Yeah, actually, yo, I can still do Anthony. Pause. I can still be Anthony Anderson. But uh, no, straight head. He actually, I, I'm, I honestly don't understand why he would do that. Of course, if, if that's something that was his wants, thing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> something he wants. No one can knock it. I just don't yeah. fully understand. Like that is your thing. That's what you're. One of the things you're known for. Um, yeah. So yeah, I just thought that was very weird. Um, yeah, he just he just uh, fixed his teeth. Shocking, shocking. Would you fix your teeth? No, I wouldn't. Um, that's the thing. I, I'm a hard-headed person, as you know, extremely hard-headed. So growing up, I was always extremely shy about it. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Covering it up. And then it's like, I got to a point where it wasn't affecting anything I was doing, right? And then mm. I was, it just, 
I, I became defiant where it's just like, you know what? This is me. This is how I am. This is my identity. Like I had chances to get braces and stuff, but at that point I'm like 15, 16. I already went through the hardest parts of my life with it. It's like, mm. no, this is how I am, you know? So I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with people that want to self-improve, but I also think if you should be proud of who you are too. Um, yeah. My teeth are straight. <laughs> They're just, I got a huge gap. That's just the way it is. So um, no, I, 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 I would not change it just because I think that's my identity. That's who I am. I've, I've grown thick skin around it that all of that character that I've built, just, I wouldn't want it just to, it wouldn't go away, but I would feel disappointed that I allowed society to make me change my perspective of beauty. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But again, I don't knock anybody for whatever they feel as though they need or want or what's gonna make them feel better. Any, leave us comments, good, bad, leave a totally. like thumbs down whatever just let us know how you feel let us know what you want us to talk about and uh we do check all the messages so we do want to we do want to hear from you now once again i'm trey and i'm zay and remember if it's on the internet we may talk about it hey you